We can forget sometimes the importance of self-care, the importance of maintaining ourselves, our health and well-being, maintaining our energy. Sometimes we might find ourselves putting the needs of others before our own, and we wind up neglecting ourselves, neglecting our own personal needs and responsibilities. And so it's very important to prioritize our time and energy in such a way that we take care of ourselves first so that we can be of greater assistance to others, so that we can better serve others. And we might think that this all sounds a bit selfish, that we should put our own needs before the needs of others. But when we put the needs of others before our own, what tends to happen? And there's an old saying, you can't pour from an empty cup, which means if you're only giving your time and energy to other people, but you're not replenishing that energy in yourself, you'll wind up with nothing to give. If I'm giving all of my time and energy to serving others, but I'm not taking care of myself, I'm not eating enough, I'm not getting enough rest, I'm not taking care of my physical health and emotional well-being, if I'm neglecting my personal responsibilities and so on, what's going to happen is that I'm going to burn out really quickly. I'm going to wind up feeling exhausted or frustrated or uninspired or overwhelmed. And at that point, I'm not going to have the energy to be of much use to anyone else. Now, there may be times in life when putting the needs of others before our own is the noble thing to do, the honorable thing to do. But if you're always doing that, it's just not sustainable. So in order to be of greater service to others, we really need to take time to take care of ourselves. And sometimes all that means is taking a little time to rest and recharge, taking some time to relax, taking time to replenish our energy by doing something that we enjoy. Or it may mean taking time to reflect and to figure out just what our own needs are. And not just our physical needs, but our emotional needs as well. Maybe we need to spend some time cultivating this kind of self-care, cultivating self-love, self-appreciation, acceptance, forgiveness, gentleness, giving ourselves permission to rest and recuperate. And perhaps if we're someone who is always giving, always serving, always offering ourselves to others, while at the same time neglecting our own needs, maybe we need to spend a little time looking at that as well. Why do we do this? Why do we tend to put the needs of others before our own? We might be the kind of person who enjoys helping others, who enjoys giving. It may be that we have a lot of empathy and compassion, and so there's a natural compulsion to want to serve and assist. But it may also be that we're a little bit of a people pleaser at times, and maybe we need to learn when to withdraw and to conserve our energy, as well as to develop some healthy boundaries. In our compulsion to give, we may find that there are those who seek to take advantage of our kindness. There may be those who take and take while offering little or nothing in return. And not that our giving should be done with any expectation of reciprocation or reward, but certainly there are those who might seek to exploit our kindness or simply using us to serve themselves. We might find that someone else has set our priority for us, that we should take care of their needs before our own. And they may ask so much of us that there's just no time or energy left for ourselves, leaving us drained and depleted. So you may have to be the one to reprioritize. You have to be willing to say no sometimes, or to step away for a while, or perhaps forever. And if the other person doesn't like that, you have to be willing to allow them the freedom to be upset about it. It's not selfish to take time for yourself to take care of yourself. What is selfish is when someone expects you to serve their needs before your own, especially to the point of neglecting your own needs. 
And it's important to really understand this because when someone is trying to exploit you and you refuse to give into it, they're going to accuse you of being selfish. It's often the one who takes and takes while giving little in return who accuses others of being selfish. Sometimes self-care means knowing when to withdraw or to walk away from a toxic relationship and to take some time to get back in touch with yourself, to honor yourself and to heal. Or it may be a situation where, let's say, you have children to take care of. And children require a great deal of care and attention while often not being able to reciprocate. And it's not that they're being selfish, it's just that they're not yet capable of taking care of themselves, let alone taking care of your needs. And so it's your responsibility as a parent to care for them, as well as to teach them at some point to take care of themselves. But mostly you're taking care of them, serving them, assisting them, and so on. That's what you signed up for. And you have to accept that responsibility. You have to accept that it's going to take a great deal of time and energy. But at the same time, you still need to find a little time for yourself so that you can replenish that energy. Whatever the situation, if you're not taking care of yourself, you're going to wind up exhausted. And then you won't have the energy to care for others. So especially when we have some kind of responsibility to care for others, we need to make sure that we have the energy to do that. We need to make sure that we aren't pouring from an empty cup. And so that means that we need to take time to care for ourselves, to nourish ourselves, to get adequate rest, to take care of our mental and emotional well-being, so that from that place of self-maintenance, from that place of wholeness, from that place of fullness, we can then be of greater service to others.